Hello, I'm Mahin Kasur here for FRAG Radio. It's 2018, it's the Esports Award, and I'm here with Tom Mercer himself, the creator of the whole event. I just want to say thank you very much, because if it wasn't for this, I wouldn't be here, suited and booted. I'd be at home in my pajamas playing Red Dead Redemption. So thank you very much. <laughs> Not to worry at all. I, I, I wouldn't be at home in my pajamas playing Red Dead Redemption. I'd probably be either working or, or out with some of my friends. But um, it's yeah, it's going to be a great event. We've, um, we've we've been privileged enough to have some some really interesting guys join us upstairs um, from our award finalists. Um, I guess members of our panel, uh, VIPs, and, and esteemed members of the community. So it's um, it's a real privilege to be in the position that we're in, um, and we're really keen to, to grow what we do year on year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so uh, the esports start. Um, they start um, to this this event takes quite a long while to plan so when did you start planning for this specific one would it be March earlier this year we started probably the morning after our last awards oh I see oh, we've got, we got eight people in our team and we we deliver year-round interaction with our community uh, we, we took a hundred thousand votes this year that started three months after our awards last year uh, we opened our voting four months ago closed it two days ago and hit uh, 3.25 million votes so I think that breaks down to about 27,000 votes a day, which is over three votes a second. So we, we're getting a good level of engagement, and as you say, there's a, there's a huge amount of work that goes on behind the scenes by some people that are far more knowledgeable about esports and, and, and far better with digital strategy than I am. But um, yeah, we're, we're in a fortunate position. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be an innovator? Because no one, no one does this. This, is, this hasn't been done too many. You, you're probably the first one to do it, especially in the UK. So how does it feel to not have the way paved out? And is it quite scary? Is it like a leap of faith? Uh, it's a lot of hard work. Um, I, I think we're, we, we've taken on a, a talk to you about our, our ambition, our, our visions to to grow this to be the global awards. Um, I think I think to focus on any one territory would be very short-sighted. Um, as I said, we've had 3.25 million votes this year and, and they've literally come from all around the world. We do a lot of analysis on our IP addresses and Google Analytics and um, it's, it's exciting. I, I think there's, I say this every day to our team, there's a huge amount of other people out there, um, but, but, but we're getting there and I think as you say, we, We've generally got this this ambition to grow what we do. There's a lot of people in the east that are currently consuming esports, and 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 and, that, and that's generally where we're trying to move to. And I mean, to talk about tonight, we're um, we're going out in 33 different countries uh, in five different languages, um, and that's just on our uh, private OTT and um, linear distribution model that IMG have built for us. We're also going non-exclusively on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Mixer, um, and uh, it's yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be exciting. I think we're, as you said, I, you know, we've got two hosts on stage that are, I think, pretty good. The chemistry is exciting. And um, look, I think we're in a really fortunate position that the majority of the people that watch our show have never heard of the BAFTAs and have probably never watched the Oscars. So our literal brief to, to our two hosts was go out there, have as much fun as you want. And as long as you're recognising excellence, um, rewarding people up there on stage and creating legacy, then um, it's about creating good content and making people have fun. So, mm -hmm. And be sure to see me there in a couple of years, hosting that very same show, OK? Well, that, that, that'll, that'll be down to our production team and our editors. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm the one that sits there and says yes and no to stuff, and um, every now and again takes a risk. So um, there's actually plenty of stuff coming later on our show, and as, as long as this doesn't go out until 9 p.m., um, we're actually launching a, a really interesting gaming foundation um, we're partnered with uh, these amazing people. Yeah, uh, Movember. Um, they're there, and um, love the mustache. Amazing. By the way. Thank you. I, I've, I've really done my best. Like I, I groom it every day, and I, I try. But um, it's. It's going to be interesting. I think there's, there's a, there's a, there is a real legacy approach to what we do, and I think we can um, we, we can create some step change. Yeah. And I think the literal line that we're using is to change the game in men's health, and, and the statistics behind young men that commit suicide are, are quite frankly worrying on a, on, a, on a global scale, and they're leaving behind behind with them you know, sons, daughters, mothers, fathers. So it's um, it, this is a this is a complete populational problem so it's affecting women it's affecting men um, and it's something that we quite frankly want to stop so um, th there's a really big opportunity tonight we're going to be launching something over the next 10 years and um, there's a few people that attended our summit uh, this morning from a number of publishers TOs that are getting behind this so um, yeah watch this space
Well, thank you very much. Just before we go quickly, I know you don't want to be biased, but what is your favorite game to watch? Rugby. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank I you very much. Sorry, that was controversial. <laughs> um, look, I... And I enjoy watching PUBG actually. Uh, Brenda's upstairs, he's been amazing for us this year. Uh, I think it'd be too easy to, to, to say Fortnite, what the Epic guys are doing, but they're certainly um, they're, they're up to some interesting stuff at the moment. And, and if I could ever figure out League of Legends, I'd, I'd probably be a, a more useful person than I am at the moment. But um, fortunately, we've got some amazing people on our team that, that do understand gaming and, and are very much at the forefront of what the community is up to. And, and that's the key thing. You know, it's about creating engaging content that, that ties in with um, with the community and, and, and doing stuff that, quite frankly, you know, is an extension of their work. And, yes. and that's hopefully what our product is. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much. I hope you have a great night tonight. Thank you. I know I will. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thanks very much. Cheers, guys.